Well, the Fab at Home project is our attempt to take this really fascinating technology, which is called rapid prototyping or solid freeform fabrication or 3D printing, mm -hmm. uh, from the commercial sphere where it's very expensive, very proprietary, so that people can't play with it at home, and to make a kit version so that people can build their own machine and they can play with the materials and they can invent new uses for it, much the way the personal computer went from giant room-sized machines uh, that cost uh, hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars or pounds uh, and became a kit version that people could play with in their homes or garages and invent uh, you know, the games and the software applications and so on that led to computers being everywhere today. So the Fab at Home is uh, included in the Plasticity exhibit at, here at uh, the Science Museum in London. Uh, as an example of an application of plastics, uh, the machine itself is made out of acrylic sheets uh, snapped together. So it's a very sort of, I think, it's very attractive use of plastics. And it's also a machine that can build objects out of plastic. So, for instance, using epoxies or using um, something like super glue, uh, called acrylic glue. Uh, you can build up three dimensional objects by depositing the materials layer by layer. And uh, so it's both a, an application of plastics and a device that can build plastic objects. We're just on the verge uh, of having people uh, complete enough machines that we can see something that they're building. Um, so I've done most of the building myself thus far, but there are four or five different uh, examples that have been documented on our website of people having completed their own machines. So I'm right on the edge of seeing what they're going to do with it. But people have talked to me a lot about building things like uh, wax models for making jewelry ceramic artworks uh, by printing out the ceramic material. Um, some other people are interested in making medical models. There's a, a couple of doctors in Innsbruck, Austria, who've built their own machine and they're going to use it to make surgical models so they can kind of uh, do some pre-surgical studies. Um, there's an art student at the, uh, at the Institute of Art in Chicago and she's interested in playing with a variety of materials just for her her own research, her own studies. Mm -hmm. um, and that's about what comes to mind right now. But the, the objects I make are typically uh, <clears throat> demonstrations of the capability of the machine. So for me, it's, it's been a little bit tricky to be very creative with the machine because I'm always concerned about showing people what it can do um, instead of spending a lot of time uh, just letting my imagination work. But I built something like a flashlight that included uh, an LED and batteries that were made commercially, but everything else, the body of the flashlight, or a torch, um, and the switch, and the wires, and everything was all printed out of uh, materials, silicone, rubber, epoxy materials, so chocolate objects, so chocolate sculptures, chocolate bars with names on them, also made uh, cake decorations, complex three-dimensional cake decorations, and also some cheese objects, so sculpted a house shape built out of cheese. Made a replacement back for my cell phone, so you know sometimes the cover over the battery breaks. And made a replacement for that out of the box. Uh, propeller, toy propeller for a, a hobby airplane. Tires, rubber tires for Lego kits. Um, I've just, in fact, returned from Lingen, Norway, which is in the uh, Lingen Alps, 70 degrees north latitude, uh, midnight sun, and everything. It's a beautiful place. Uh, but what they have up there is a laboratory where the Norwegian government is funding an effort to bring advanced manufacturing technology to remote areas in Norway so that the farmers and ranchers can uh, invent solutions to their daily problems. Uh, one, one of the solutions which just comes to mind is uh, radio collars for sheep, actually they, what they call it is a cell phone for sheep, or a mobile phone for sheep, and so that the, uh, the sheep owner can uh, track the positions of the sheep uh, when they're up on the mountains or on the ground. But I brought with me a kit to build one of these Fab at Home machines and uh, I held a workshop with some local students who came in and we together built up one of these Fab at Home machines and um, got it fully running and built a few objects with it and so on. And they're going to start using this as part of their kit of equipment uh, along with some machine tools and some more traditional things just to see what sort of solutions they can generate for themselves to